Hey, hey, kiddos, it is Tango with Sue here with you. I am vertical and horizontal today. I'm not challenged at all. So, uh, welcome replay viewers. Welcome YouTube viewers. Welcome TikTok viewers. Welcome all viewers to the chaos that is Tango with Sue. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I can't read comments everywhere if it's super important and I don't get to it. Tag me wherever you are. Tag me so that I get a little alert. This is Tango with Sue. Somebody has a question. Um, Cause I get a lot of comments and a lot of questions. And I don't want to miss anybody. So welcome. I have, I have so many funnies for you guys today. I just have so many funnies. Let me see if everybody's on there. Let me see your comments. Let me make sure I can try to answer questions. So um, let's talk about this piece. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. I finally got it down. We're gonna, I'm going to show you another trick today that I think is amazing. I finally, like, I didn't even film myself taking it down, and I should have, because every time I almost drop something, I know that makes good TV, right? So I had it up here. I tilted it back. I brought it down. And do you know what I forgot? Well, first of all, do you know what I remembered? I remembered to get up underneath. Like, I had this girl, all right, I don't want to be inappropriate, but, and um, all waxed. Oh my God, I'm just getting worse. It's just getting worse. But anyway, all, all done, all awesome. And then I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. I remembered every inch of this dresser. When I sell this dresser and I load it into the back of someone's minivan or Subaru, whatever, uh, it's gonna look so pretty. And then I tilted it back down. Y'all, I forgot to paint the top. It was up so high the whole time. I freaking forgot to paint the top. Hello, Bessie. Hello, Devlin. Hello, you guys. I forgot to paint the top. Okay, so here's what we're going to do today in this live. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to tell you what I said. Uh, just, just like we learned in grade school. We're going to paint the top. We're going to do that real quick. We're going to get that out of the way so it's drying. Then I'm going to give you some highlights of how we did this. And if you're like, Sue, all your videos are disjointed. They're all over the place. Yes! Welcome, welcome. They're all disjointed up here too. Thank you very much. That's why at the end, when it's done, I'm gonna stage her. I'm gonna edit all those things together and I'm gonna make you one solid video that takes you from beginning to end. That's what I do. Y'all can go back to the last ones, check tanglewoodsue.com and see. So a little bit of a recap and I need to scrape this off. Can you guys hear me okay? I got my new wireless on. Woohoo! I got my wireless, baby. Am I clunking? Yeah, looks like we need to paint the top. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Miss Molly, how are you doing, darling? Um, I want to I wanna do another live where I get on with you guys. Um, say hi to Molly, you guys. She's one of my fellow furniture painters. But y'all get on here too late for me. I've already gone to bed. I've already gone to bed. So what I realized on the top of this is that I left, I'm just, this, I'm just getting a razor blade right now, a big one. Uh, I'm getting ugh, leftover wood filler. Because, I mean, let's go way back on this, you guys. This is a long series. I'm glad I have the playlist feature. Because y'all helped me remember, this is the one where we accidentally glued the veneer down. Do y'all remember? Yeah. Okay, so I'm clearing this off. And then... How are we going to get this ready for painting? Because I did not prep this or anything. Honestly, a little bit of sandpaper or a little bit of scouring pad, you guys. That's all we need. That's all we need on this because it's already really dry and porous. And when you're sanding for furniture, kiddos, let me say this so that y'all can hear me because I know most of you know this, but I still see too many. You don't need to sand down past the stain to get it ready to paint. Okay, you just need to etch it on top so that the paint will stick. And because I am using Debbie's Design Diary clay paint on this, this, this stuff sticks to everything. Y'all do not need to worry. You don't need to, you don't need to stress it. And then also, I need any new viewers to know that I don't know how to work. I don't know, I don't know about the stain. I was showing a video on how to use, um, an old video, you guys, on how to use the, uh, let me show you, the swamp mud. Look, I can keep talking and you can keep hearing me. 
All right, y'all, I posted a really old video of mine just to see what would happen, and ho, oh, yeah, I got the same hate I did the first time around. How am I supposed to stand on top of that? You're not. You're not. Tankwood Sue, we paint furniture. I don't know how you stand on top of that. That's not what I do. That's not what I do. I feel like I'm showing people how to, like, if I was a plumber, I'd be showing you how to, like, plumb or, like, clear the drain and then someone gets on there and says yeah but how do you get the stove to work i don't know that's not me all right so i've got it kind of dusty wipe this off y'all don't leave you're going to want to stick around to see the coolest trick i figured out the coolest trick i figured out on uh doing the wax we just we have to do this first because i need to have it drying hello darling hello 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 any questions to see i can't even see i can't even see the questions you guys um if i miss them because i'm just going for it today uh message me facebook message me instagram me uh, y'all do you know how i've you know how i'm finally um doing great on instagram do you know how i'm doing great on instagram right now i told it to f off <laughs> finally instagram loves me because i've completely ignored it I've completely ignored it. It's like they're giving me notifications like, you got this, the new followers. I'm like, uh-huh, too little, too late, baby. Oh, no, no, you're doing well. We're pushing out your content. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. You don't convert. I don't care anymore. That, it's like a boyfriend. Like, as soon as I start completely ignoring, now they love me. I've gone up by 300. Y'all, I've been at 5,000. I started my Instagram account in 2012. I'm barely to 5,000. I know some of you are like, Sue, that's 5,000. That's a lot. And it is a lot. And it's great. But um, not for like 10 years. It's not. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> so I finally decided I'm just going to keep the account. I'm going to auto post. I'm not even going to think about it. And now it's taken off. Oh, my God. It's like a boyfriend who only loves you when it's jealous. All right. So this, kiddos, is the... Um, this is Black Velvet by Debbie's Design Diary that we put the paint frosting in, okay? So I've got this left over, so I'm going to use it and put it right on top. I'm not going to go for thick. I'm not going for um, textured. I just, I just need to use it up because I don't know how long the paint frosting stuff's going to last. And then we also have to decide, so this will be dry by the time we get to the next step. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep putting some coats on here. For those of you who are just joining us, we use this with paint frosting so that we could do all these raised edges, which I hope are showing up on camera. I'm going to zoom you in Facebook a little bit more once I'm done yapping. Um, and so that's why I already have this mixed. I mean, it should last, but, you know, why open up another thing of black paint? And... Quite honestly, you guys, I always do the top last because I feel like the top is when I finally figured out what the hell I'm doing. So why not do that last when I'm just like, it's easy breezy. Oh, thank you. You weren't sure at first. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. I can't tell you how many comments I have that are like, not sure where you were going with this, Sue. I don't know. I don't know. And then the other comment that I love from you guys is just stop, stop. Stop right there. It's great. It's great. It's great. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go a little bit more. And you're like, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. And uh, I, I put a pole of that yellow piece, you guys. I put a pole of that yellow piece um, that said, should I put more stencils on or not? And um, uh, spoiler alert, it's already done. It's wrapped. And the client's coming to get it. So y'all can stop voting. <laughs> stop voting. I finally had to put a tag on there that said, stop voting. Oh, I did that, the same thing for the chair, the metallic chair. Everybody's like, bronze, seven, six, four, three, all these colors I said that you guys could pick. And everybody's still voting because uh, TikTok and, and uh, Facebook Reels are still pushing it out and everybody's still voting. Oh my God, it's hilarious. Um, I just posted a video saying that we're going to be using Prima metallic waxes today. Okay. Wait, I want to do it like they do on them. Um, I want to be like a, like a, like a beauty influencer. I don't know why they do this. I don't know why they do this. Here we go. These are the colors we're using today. Why do they do that? Just to give it a background? I got a background. I don't need my hand. We're using uh, Lucky Emerald and Emerald. Neither of which are Emerald. Neither of which are even close to Emerald. But we're going with Lucky Emerald. 
I actually have a ton of emerald in stock on my website. I had to order, had to pay money for Lucky Emerald because I ran out. Um, but if y'all love it, I can get some more. So here's what we want to do. All right, I'm going to tell uh, you guys aren't going to be able to see my face anymore in uh, Facebook. I know some of you are like clapping, like, thank God. Get to, get to it, lady. Okay. All right, I think I've already zoomed you in TikTok. Basically, we have these embossed areas that are raised up, okay? Now I feel like you just see my feet. That's okay. Oh, wait, I think I went too far. Sorry. Let me go, let me go in a little bit more. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so here's what I wanted, and I had a heck of a time trying to figure it out. In here, I just put my hand, I just put my hand in the wet paint. There you go. That's Sue's mishap for the day number one. Luckily, this is Debbie's design diary paint, so I'll be able to wash it right out, and I'm not going to stop the live to go clean up my favorite sweater. Um, I wanted to put some metallic on here. I rubbed in some metallic, which I know is hard to see on a video, but I'll take really good pictures so you guys are able to see it you are getting a bright reflection right there. Let me see if I can turn this down. Hold on. Uh, I don't know how to stop it, but hopefully you can see that right in here, I was able to pick up the emboss. Because what I did at first, is I put a little on my finger and I tried to just hit the raised edges, y'all, and I couldn't. I couldn't, it was just too hard to do. Um, and then I kept messing it up and then just rubbing it in. So now it's a little bit shinier than I kind of anticipated that it would be. I just did it again. God bless. I'm not even planning this. I'm like freaking Lucille Ball over here with the mishaps. Um, I'm just going to have to keep like, by the time we're done with this live, you guys are going to be covered in black paint. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just cracked myself up. I'm glad I have someone to play with. That would be me. Okay, so we fixed that. So here's what I plan. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. I, I thought to myself, how do you, how do you, um, how do you get a skim coat on top of something so that you're just picking up the embossed layers. So if you have a brush that's going across it, right, it's getting in all the crevices. If you're using your finger, it's getting in all the crevices. So I realized I needed hard on hard so that it only picked up. Y'all feeling me? Hard on hard, hard on hard. All right, so let me show you what I figured out. This is it. Now we're now we're there. I hope I have I hope I have thousands of people on there. Now I can't find my piece that I was doing it with. Oh, for goodness sakes! I just set it out. There it is. I put my thing on top of it. Okay. This is a um. This is a wood block. It's actually meant for sanding in little crevices. My friend made it for me. There's a little hook in here and here so you can kind of go around edges. So here's how I ruined it because that's what I did. I wanted to ruin it and um, make sure that uh, it could never be used for its intended purpose again. So we're taking the Lucky Emerald, okay? And we're gonna put a little bit on like toothpaste, okay? Like toothpaste. But here's where it's different. Don't brush it. Don't brush it. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do it along the side. So I'll turn this around. Now I want you to smush it down really smoothly. And I'm using my bare finger because when I did this with a glove, it did not work. It did not work because I couldn't feel. You want it to be evenly dispersed. So if it, there's a little bubble or anything, you want that to be smooth, very smooth. Okay. Did y'all just say put metallic on a piece of wood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> metallic on a piece of wood. I know. Some of you are like, Sue, uh, not, not rocket science. Maybe for you. <laughs> Sometimes it takes my brain a step or two to figure it out. And uh, I mean, I did figure it out. So let's do this. I'm going to turn this around because I don't want to do any more on the front. Um, but you can see. Oh, wait. Hold, hold on. Before I totally turn that. I do want you guys to see how it turned out on the front. Okay. So can y'all, if you can't see it that well, I'll post pictures, but basically it worked like a charm. So it picked up just the embossed. You see that you can see the design. 
Can you all see that? It picked up just the design. I'm so happy with it. So I want to do it again. I want to tell you kind of how I learned to do it. All right, I'm going to have to tilt you down a little bit so you guys can see. Um, number one, keep some clear wax with you. Okay, keep some clear wax with you uh, because you guys, there we go. I think we're good. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I know vertical is a little harder to get the whole picture in. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Keep, um, keep your clear wax with you. If you mess up, don't worry about it. We're just going to wipe it off with the clear wax. But this is already dry and it's already waxed, so this should glide on pretty well. And keep a rag with you. Preferably a clean rag. I don't have any, so we're going to go with what we got. But if you mess up the first time, and I messed up four or five times, don't worry about it. It's going to work. It's going to work. Okay. So what I think I want to do is just highlight where it's already that green. This is the um, Bohemian Bright that I sell. Uh, I, the packaging I ruined already, but this is spirited. Spirited. Okay. One of Dion's colors. And that's what got me this really intense green on the side here. And I didn't really use that anywhere else on the piece. I just love it, but I don't feel like everything has to match. All right. So here we go. Okay. I got to get down here. I gotta get down here so I can see. I've got some black, and you can either scoop up or down. And I'm just gonna kinda do a little bit at a time, really lightly, and just kind of, I'm just skim coating it, okay? So I can kind of see, I, have, I haven't used it all up. I'm just gonna kind of reposition it, and then skim coat it again and I can see that it's picking up. Even if you can't see exactly what I'm doing, you guys, you, you, you get the sense for what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of mushing it around a little bit, like a, like a block. I, I thought of this because I do this when I have done a boat, a boat wood effect. I find that the best way to create a boat wood effect is to, um, you know, use blocks of wood. You don't want to use a, I don't like dry brushing. Um, but there we go. So there we got it. If I want to go a little bit more over into the black, I can do that. I can do that and I can do it with other colors. So I may go back and do it with the other non-emerald color that we had. I may go back and do it with emerald, which is actually more of a blue. But I'm kind of sticking to the greens for now. And then, you guys, what I'm going to do is let it cure. Because I know, I know the question a lot of you have in your heads right now. That's wax. It's not going to stay on there. It will. It will stay on there. Okay? It will stay on there. Um, so I just went, smoothed it out again, smoothing it out again here. Okay? I want to put a little bit in the black area. I think that'll look really cool. So I'm just a little bit. Once it, you got to let it cure though. Don't mess with it now. We want to get that on, kind of skim it onto all those little layers we got. There, isn't that cool? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it and I love it. Now the trick is to leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Um, we want to let it dry. Okay, hold on, let me get this up here. We want to let it dry. And here's what's going to happen. Once it's dry, once it's dry, you can mess with it. And by mess with it, I mean, once we get this and it's all dried, you can sand it back a little bit. You can add another color on top of it. Um, and, or, and you can buff it. You're going to have to buff it. If you don't buff it, uh, it will. It will come off. Buffing is what does all the little chemically things, because um, that's a scientific word, chemically things, so that it will harden, just like when you're putting the wax on your car. If you don't buff it, it stays cloudy and mushy, right? Cloudy and mushy. Okay, so, but let it cure first. Like, I'm not going to touch this till tomorrow when it's dry, and then I'm going to take a clean rag, not this one, and then I'm going to buff it. Now, this one, this one I did yesterday, Oh yeah, that's working. All right, let me show you. 
I forget that this is like a cooking show and I already cooked the first half, but I keep putting, I really should not have painted the top of this. I should not have done that because I keep putting my hand in it. It's almost dry. It's almost dry though. It's almost dry. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. On, face, on Facebook, everybody's answering questions for me because they've all been through this journey. So thank you, Facebook fo fans who are um, answering everybody else's questions who's jumping on that I'm not answering because I can't see right now. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, okay, I have a small desk. I have trouble. Okay, so right here is what I did yesterday. So I can take, I'm going to take the clean part of this and buff it. It's staying on. I, I hope you can see that. I know the glare is hard to see um, when you're working with metallics and um, a glossy piece. But y'all are just going to have to trust me. It's staying. Okay? And now it's hardened. So now it's good to go. The only way to take it off now is to put clear wax back on top. Okay. This, this has been my presentation for the day. I will now be accepting questions. <laughs> Post your questions right now. Post your questions right now. If you have any questions that I missed along the way, uh, I'll scroll up through here and see if there's anybody else. Where did my glasses go? Aha. Uh -huh. See if anybody else has any questions about what the heck we're doing. Hey, Caroline. Oh, Caroline loves the piece. Uh, yeah, we need to paint the top. Okay, I don't see any other um, questions right now. Cool. Uh, you are out of breath. That was a workout. I know. Well, uh, Chris, that's not, a, that's not indicative of being a workout. That's indicative of me being out of shape. But guess what I got for my birthday? Guess what I got for my birthday, you guys? I got an e-bike! Ah! Y'all want to know what color I got? Uh, Y'all have to guess. Um... Let's just say this way, I had to have it special ordered because the bike comes in this color, but there was no one in the metropolitan DC area who carried this color. Do you know why? I can guess. <laughs> because I ordered it in, where is it? Oh, I can't show you because it's on the, I got a phone case with that color. Basically, I ordered it in Tanglewood Green. It's chartreuse or citron as they call it. It is bright freaking yellow green. And they're like, the guy at the shop is like, we have this nice turquoise and I took the turquoise out and I was like, this is lovely and tasteful. I'm, I am not tasteful. So um, I, said, I, I said, I saw online you had this yellow green and he's like, yeah, we do. I'm like, can I see that? He's like, we don't carry it. And I was like, all right. And then he said, uh, let me see who does. And he pulled up on his screen. He's like, nope, 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 nope. And the more he said that no one carried this color, the more excited I got. Because I'm like, yes, it'll be my color. I'll be the only one. Like, they still manufactured it. It must be popular somewhere. But anyway, um, and I don't know what you guys know about e-bikes. Anyway, I'm using an e-bike because there are a few hills that are hard for me to get to work with my knee. But I was like, but I really want to ride a bike more and get in better shape so I'm not out of breath. And uh, so I got, I'm getting the e-bike to just help me up the hills, and then I can, I can get a workout with the rest of it. But e-bikes come in three different, one, two, and three. And two and three, I believe, have a throttle. It's like a motorbike. Like, and I was at REI, and I said, um, so do you carry the one, two, and three? He's like, we only carry the one. And he said it with like, like, we, like kind of the way you would say, yeah, we don't drink box wine. So I was like, okay. I said, do you mind me asking why you don't carry the two? He's like, it has a throttle. And I'm like, I'm sorry, you're going to have to dig a little deeper. And that's bad because, and he said to me, because we're REI. And we want you to get some exercise. <laughs> so my husband at that point is holding my arms back <laughs> so I don't pop this kid. We're REI. It's basically like, this, this is their marketing department. We're REI, and we want you to get outside. We're REI, and we want you to do better. 
we're REI and you're fat. Like that's what I feel like their marketing department is saying to me right now. And I'm just like, okay, but I'm still going to give you thousands of dollars. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, coming to my DIY show and to my stand up comedy hour. Um, I am, this is almost dry while we did this. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And um, I think we're done. I think that's it. I'm going to stage her. I'm going to film her. I'm going to edit it. And then everybody who says, how did it turn out? I'm going to be like, there it is. I highly recommend the process. Yes, we can paint over wax. Yes, it is still a bit of a pain. Uh, yes, you can emboss the paint. Um, we got basically a yes on almost everything. Yes, I can paint something besides pink and purple. Okay? Okay? I think we've proven a lot of things on this. All right, you guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. And... Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Let me see. Um, give them hell, Betty. What's Betty doing? Arrogance. Please. Rude. Attitude. Oh my God. Did we have a, did we have, um, did we have someone in here? Did we have a hater in here? <laughs> I'm just seeing it now. <sighs> Y'all, what happened? Y'all, what happened? Who'd you guys beat up? I feel like I was like, I was like on stage and I'm like doing my show and like Devlin and Betty. Oh no, no. Oh, it was REI. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe we had someone on there and like, y'all were like, come on, come on. I've seen you guys do it before whenever somebody's picked on me, but, um, oh no, they were, <laughs> they were so, <laughs> this kid. Oh my God, you guys, he just drove me crazy. Like he, he, I tried to be kind because I, he's probably my kid's age, you know, Dan's age, probably like 19 or so, but like I would ask a question. He wouldn't know the answer. And so he would just go, I don't know. And I'm standing there and like my family's watching me cause like they know me and, um, and I'm waiting for the next, like, I don't know. I'll go find out. I don't know. Let me check on that. I don't know. But when you walk in and you're about to drop down money, man, and I don't, I know more about these bikes than you do. He's like, here's the Electra, uh, here's the Electra 700 series. And da, 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 da. It's made by, I was like, I know it's made by Trek and it's got parts by Schwinn and it's got da, 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 da. Like I'm rattling it all off and I, I probably scared him. <laughs> but then he tried to show me a regular bike and say it was an electric bike like that's not electric bike sweet pea look at it look at it again oh my god no you do have my back okay I know bike people bike people and then what's really funny now that's just us and we can chat um what's really funny is that <laughs> uh I go over to the camping section of REI. Like I, I don't, I don't shop at these places. I get everything secondhand, like everything's donated. So this was a first for me, even going into a big fancy outdoor shop, but I go to the camping section and it's all like everything in that camping section is designed to make you feel like you are not camping. It is glamping. Everything is designed to like hang you in a tree or a place to chill your wine or a gourmet stovetop. I mean, it was laughable. It was laughable. Um, anyway. All right, kids, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to stage her. Thanks so much. And uh, hey, do y'all like the mic? Uh, the, the TikTok didn't get the mic. Uh, does the mic work for you guys? It's all glamping. I know. No one's actually camping anymore. Um, look, look at me. Black. Black. Um, let me know if it worked, and I will try to remember to always put this on. It's working? Oh, good. I'm so glad. Have, you, have I thumped it too much while I was doing stuff, like I am right now? Um, I'll try to get better. The little clip was missing, so I've got it with tape and a safety pin. So, And then maybe I shouldn't wear my jewelry when I do it. But... Um, it makes me a pro, you know, you know, Betty, what can I say? I'm a professional, professional what we won't get into. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you Thursday. Uh, oh my goodness. We're free to do whatever we want. Y'all comment with what we should do next. Um, I, I need to do something with Daydream Apothecary. I need to do something with the neons, but like we don't have a custom job lined up. Uh, 
we don't have we finished all the projects i'm just editing them now we finished the chair we finished that oh my goodness we have ultimate freedom we can do whatever we want starting on thursday oh, i'm so excited all right i'm gonna run around the store but think about something you want to do and think about colors but think think neon Yes, Angela, actually, that's a very good point because I haven't even tried out the chartreuse color that Miss Lillian made for me. So we should definitely, maybe we can do a test on mixing Miss Lillian's and Neon's. Wah, wah, wah. Because that way we could do both. Okay, Mwah. bye everybody. Have a great couple of days. I'll see you back on Thursday.